Hey everybody, Trailer Trash Tim here. Happy Tuesday everybody and today we're gonna cook and I'm gonna make one of my favorite recipes on the carnivore diet and I'm talking about meatloaf. I mean, come on man, who doesn't like meatloaf, right? Now I've talked about carnivore before. What all do I eat on carnivore? It's basically beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Um, I have a little cheese. I've got cheese in this recipe. I do have coffee. I put a little cream in my coffee. Most nights I'll eat either a steak. Uh, some nights I'll have hamburger patties. Uh, I might make a pot roast. Uh, yesterday I changed it up a little bit and I had salmon. But I'm always looking for a good fatty meat, you know. And this meatloaf recipe is just delicious. It's carnivore friendly. And I hope that you'll uh, try it. Just, just give it a try sometime because I think you'll really love it. Um, it's not complicated at all. It's fairly simple. So I'm going to turn my camera around and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm working with here. And I hope you'll decide to make it yourself for your family. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. Here's what we've got. I've got my, I like to use these little aluminum pans. I get them by the bulk at Costco. Uh, it saves me on cleanup, you know? So I just put it, uh, put the aluminum pan on a cookie sheet. Now for my meat, I've got two kinds of meat and you can you can do whatever you want with this uh, you can combine it any way you want you can go what you want is three pounds of meat and uh, you can do three pounds of ground chuck uh, or just combine whatever you like this is one of my it's probably my favorite combination what I have here is two pounds of ground chuck and one pound of ground pork that really makes for a nice combination. Two pounds of chuck and one pound of pork. Over here, I've got three eggs. The eggs are going into the meatloaf. Now, here's something else I've got. I've got one cup of this right here. It's called pork panko. This stuff is wonderful. All it is is what it says. It's fried pork rinds, but you can see they're ground, you know, rough, roughly ground. And you can use this for all kinds of things. You can uh, bread chicken tenders. You can make country fried steak. That's another recipe I'm gonna do fairly soon. Uh, anything you wanna bread, quote unquote, you can use pork panko for, and it's completely carnivore friendly because like I say, it is all, all it is is crushed up pork rinds, but you can get this at your favorite market. I got this at Walmart. Walmart carries pork panko. They're on the aisle where you get all your bacon goods, your flour and cornmeal and uh, cake mixes, all that kind of stuff that you're not supposed to eat, you know. They've got the pork panko there, highly recommended. That's wonderful stuff. I'm also gonna put uh, 10 ounces of Parmesan cheese. I had a brick and I grated it up in my old food processor. I actually, it was eight ounces of uh, Parmesan cheese so I had one of those little shaky bottles, you know, shaky cans of Parmesan. So I added a couple more ounces to that. That's going in the uh, meatloaf. Um, this is ketchup. This is to taste. Um, you know, just, just kind of eyeball it. I'd probably put maybe a, two or three tablespoons. Uh, that's optional. A lot of this stuff is, uh, well, not a lot, but some of it is optional. Uh, I want salt. I got a good, I would call that a fat teaspoon of salt. And again, that is to taste. And I want to show you my salt. This is the best salt you're ever going to buy. This is called Redmond's Real Salt. <clears throat> I don't know if you know it or not, but a lot of salt has been discovered. You know, table salt has been discovered to have plastic in it. Uh, you don't want that. Real Redmond's Real Salt comes from under the Great Salt Lake out in Utah. This is really, really good stuff. I use it every day. That's what's in my little cup here is Redmond salt. Uh, what did I miss? I got the cheese, I got the panko, I got the salt, I got the pork panko, I got the ketchup. That's pretty much it. And the eggs, of course. That's pretty much it. Now, what I like to do, you see on my eggs, I eat eggs, I'm telling you, like there's no tomorrow. I love them. They're like the perfect food. I got egg cartons everywhere. Now, you can customize this recipe any way you want. I like to put a little bit of uh, Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce in it. Maybe a couple of uh, teaspoons just to taste. Uh, it's completely optional. You can you can shake this up any way you want it. Uh, you can put oregano in this if you like, a little Italian taste. 
Uh, you can put parsley. You can put paprika. Uh, however you would normally make the old standard meatloaf would, would apply here as long as your ingredients aren't, you know, bread. You know, in the old days, we would put like bread crumbs in our meatloaf. Well, the breadcrumbs now are substituted with the pork panko. That makes this completely carnivore. And I'm telling you, this is the best meatloaf I've ever had, bar none. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to start mixing this up. I've got three pounds of, of meat, two ground chuck, and one um, uh, pork sauce, so uh, not sausage, just pork, ground pork. Uh, you can try lamb in this. Just play around with it and see what you like. I'm going to add my... That's a lot of cheese, but that's that's the recipe. That's 10 ounces of Parmesan. And then I'm going to add, I'm sorry for my camera work, folks, but it's just me, right? I'm going to add one cup of pork panko. I'm going to add my salt. And I'm going to add, um, I, have to, I have to, I'm having to do this one-handed. This is my Lee and Perrins. I love this stuff. And I'm going to add, just, just eyeball it. I'm thinking that's maybe a couple of teaspoons. And then I'm going to add my three eggs, just like that. And then finally, I'm going to add, <laughs> I got ketchup all over the place. Again, I just eyeball it. That might be two tablespoons or so, I'm thinking. Okay, I, I'm going to uh, mix all this together then. Now I have preheat. Let me see if I can keep my camera on this while I while I mix. This is a tough job, man. Got one dirty hand, one clean hand. The clean hand is my camera operator. And he's not a very good camera operator. But I'm just gonna mix this up like this in my mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna dump it over into my little uh, sheet pan. And then I'm gonna put it into a preheated oven that is 400 degrees, 400 degrees preheated. You catching all this? Write it down. I'll tell you, it's simple. I've got the recipe on my phone. Of course, I've pretty much got it memorized by now. But I'm going to uh, get this all mixed up. Whoa, this meat is cold. I just got home from work and I haven't eaten all day. It's like, uh, what is it, about 2.30 in the afternoon. I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving. But this is going to go in a 400 degree oven. This is going to be the worst produced video ever. But I hope you'll bear with me and understand it's just me doing this. I'm holding, I'm holding the camera with one hand and I'm mixing all my my meatloaf with the other. But that's okay. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Preheated oven at 400 degrees, and this is going to bake for one hour. Now, another thing you can do, and I've done it before, and it's wonderful. You can add strips of bacon to the top of your meatloaf, right? I'm sure you've heard of that. Oh yeah, this is coming together good. You can add strips of bacon uh, to the meatloaf on the top. If you do that, you wanna bake the meatloaf at 400 degrees for one hour. Then you wanna um, jack your stove up, your oven up, to broil, put it put uh, put it on broil, and put the uh, meat loaf under the broiler, and leave it there for about five minutes, or until the bacon crisps up, and it's delicious. But I've I've done it both ways. I've done it with bacon, and I've done it without bacon. And I I'm gonna be honest, and nobody loves bacon more than me. I kind of like the meat loaf just like this. I'll be honest with you, I really do. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's see if I can, the one-handed man can dump this over into my bacon sheet. There we go. Now you get it over into your, uh, you can use a lasagna pan for this. Um, you know, any, any good baking dish, you can use a loaf pan if you want. I like these little uh, aluminum pans because it saves me from having more cleanup, right? I mean, that's always a bonus. But yeah, if you're going to do it, if you if you if you want to include the bacon, uh, then just just you know put it across the top here. Maybe a lattice lattice pattern, or just just stretch it across the top, and it'll be fine. And cook it uh, all together at 400 degrees, uncovered, for one hour. Then take it out and 
turn on your broiler and put your uh, put it put it up under the broiler for, for five or ten minutes whenever until your bacon gets crispy right that's what we're after let me get all these goodies out of here out of my mixing bowl all right now I'm ready to put that in the oven let me wash my hand my kitchen's a mess and the UPS man is here terrific well maybe he'll just set it on the floor with that on there The only thing that's not happening is my nose is not itching, but you know. Whoa, take a fair little ride there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna open up my oven. It's 400 degrees. And I'm gonna take this meatloaf, this wonderful meatloaf. I'm gonna pop it in the oven, just like that on the center rack. Get in there, you. And that's going to cook for one hour and it's gonna be done. So I'll come back in an hour after it's done and I'll show you what it looks like, okay? So hang on. And there she is, look at that thing. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. I'll eat off of this for a week. If you love meatloaf, and who doesn't, I hope you'll give this a try. Uh, if you want optimal health, I hope you give carnivore diet a try. It's working great for me. I haven't eaten today, this is gonna be my only meal. And I'm going to tear into this thing, and it's going to be good. Hey, thanks, everybody, for uh, watching. I'm going to post this recipe down below in the comments. I hope you'll give me your comment and tell me what you think of carnivore meatloaf and the carnivore diet. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, subscribe to the channel, if you will, and hit that big thumbs-up button. And I will see you tomorrow. Chow down.